Hi, I'm Reverend Tom Kearns. Welcome to 333 Magic 9, your astrology channel. June is a great month to go out and enjoy all the beauty of nature. And there's a lot of exciting aspects in the air. And here's what they mean for your sign. The month begins as Venus squares Mars on June 2nd. Cancer, Venus in the 12th house of limitations inspires you to spend some time alone. Make sure you keep your actions and your thoughts above board. No secret romances or pleasures allowed, because a challenging square from Mars in your ninth house of understanding may fool you into thinking that you can justify anything. All you need is a good argument. You would do better to focus your mind on the ethical impact of your actions. Remember, actions do speak louder than words. Don't learn that the hard way. Mars conjuncts Neptune on June 13th. Cancer, Mars in your ninth house of the higher mind increases your desire to see the world and understand the power of belief. Now, you may have strong beliefs yourself and you may feel empowered to express them, but remember to maintain harmony and understanding. Now, his important conjunction to Neptune brings a need to evaluate what you believe and why you believe it. You can have flashes of inspiration that deepen your spiritual understanding and empower your psychic abilities. But you must work on making your beliefs a reality, and that takes ambition. Hi, I'm Reverend Tom Kearns, and this is my story. If you are a spiritual seeker, it may help you on your journey. I believe your spiritual development is as important as your religion. If you look at Christianity, it focuses on the life of Jesus. But Jesus was never a Christian. He was Jewish. If this thought intrigues you, you'll enjoy my new book, Light from Water, Freeing Jesus. It's available on Amazon.com and through fine bookstores and it may help you on your spiritual journey. Mercury turns retrograde on June 17th. It's always a good idea to slow down a little bit when Mercury is retrograde. And since Mercury is retrograde in your first house of personality, he warns you to watch out for disruptive energy. <laughs> watch what you say and rein in any foolish notions. Good manners will help mitigate any misunderstanding, and common sense will help you in communications. If you need to repeat yourself, re-examine what you're trying to say. And if people look at you funny, well, you may have to reevaluate what you're doing. Be wise. Neptune turns retrograde on June 22nd. Cancer, Neptune retrograde in your ninth house can bring a little bit of confusion because this is the house of the higher mind. Now, Neptune is always subtle. Now, you may think you understand what is the most important things in life, but this is a difficult and confusing time. Your intuitive understanding of philosophical ideas, abstract principles, religion may be confused. Yes, you should be open to different cultural ideas and truths, but not always swayed by them. Take time to reevaluate your beliefs and the people you believe in. Mars enters Aries on June 27th. Mars transiting your 10th house of status. <laughs> His energy stimulates your competitive nature and your drive for success. Now, your efforts to make your mark in the world may be appreciated as long as you play with the team. But be careful to play within the rules of the game. You want recognition and you have the courage to pursue it. Discipline and hard work help you overcome obstacles to success. Just don't go off on an ego trip. These predictions were based on your sun sign. 
If you'd like a more personalized reading, just go to my website, professorastrology.com. Go to the readings page where you can order a personal psychic reading or astrology chart. I'd like to thank you for watching. I'd like to thank you for listening. Please subscribe and share these videos with your friends because they're free. Can't beat that. <laughs> Again, thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. And I hope you have a great month.